Hello there, Croissant, and welcome. I'm Shadow Lemmox, and today I'm back on Helldivers 2 to show you how to do all the optional objectives that you can come across during automaton missions. I will go through the exclusive ones and the ones that will show up on the terminate missions as well. It'll just be a quick little look at basically how to complete the objectives as there's differences between each one some are destroy some are activate some have terminals some are just things you can blow up with stratagems with weapons so we'll go through all of that and hopefully by the end of this you'll have a better idea of what to do with these objectives when you come across them during your missions as a hell diver so let's get into it. Activate the radar station. This is an optional objective that will be objective located. Uh, for automatons and terminids. And you can spot them from those towers, the radar, the actual dish tower. Make your way to the encampment and get to the terminal. Once you activate the terminal, the radar tower will raise and then you just have to align it just need to get that orange uh, yellow arrow inside the cone when it has it goes green and then you can activate the tower and you're done terminate the legal broadcast this is another objective that is for automatons and terminids and it is really easy to take out you got any big weapon like an auto cannon and just take it out from a distance there is a terminal uh, you can come up go to the bottom and play the signal strength game but you can just take it out with grenades, just a bit of AOE damage, even from, say, an auto cannon will do it. Destroy the Rogue Research Station. Another mission that is available for both Terminids and Automatons, and you'll spot it through seeing those three antenna in the distance. It will show up as well in the pre-mission briefing. When you get close, you want to go up to this building here and drop in a hell bomb to destroy it. A couple of 500 kills will do the job as well. But make sure you don't place the hell bomb too close to the building as you will be able to activate the tower. So once you've got the placement a bit better, activate the hell bomb, run away and watch the fireworks. Upload escape pod data. Another mission that is available for both Terminates and Automatons. You will also find this in the pre-mission briefing. It will show up sometimes, but not all the time. You just need to go up to the escape pod. You'll get a stratagem to activate to upload the data. And then you just need to stay in the immediate area until the upload is complete. It's better if you clear the area first with this group of you. You can get them to protect you while you wait out the upload, which takes just over a minute. Activate SEAF Artillery. This is the final optional objective that I'm going to cover that will be available for both Terminids and Automatons. You'll see it in the distance by seeing this gun emplacement. You go up to the terminal and activate it and then immediately you'll be asked to load up the ammo for the artillery encampment just take over you'll find the artillery shells littered around the immediate area this sometimes will be more than five so check them to make sure you're putting in something that's useful and then once you're done you will just do the raise the signal strength gain so press left or right on the d-pad until the numbers stop going up and then press up or down on the d-pad until it gets to 100 percent wait it out and then you've got five new stratagems to use during the mission. Destroy the detection tower, or as I, or as pretty much everyone calls it, the Eye of Sauron. You'll spot them in the distance in these automaton missions, and it's basically scanning the immediate area for hell divers. If it spots you, it will just send a constant stream of pop drops to your location. So if you're gonna make a move for it, move in fast and hard, take out the fabricators that are around the area and just from doing this sort of incidental damage you can actually take out this tower 
Alternatively, you can just drop a hell bomb right next to it and activate that. But even something like a 500k will do the trick. Destroy a stratagem jammer. You'll come across these in the automaton missions. You'll see this spinning tower with a red pulse coming off, off it. And it is important to get rid of these. They can be close to mission objectives and they stop all stratagems coming down. You've got to push in hard, be aggressive, get to this terminal that's under the tower. Once you log in, you will be able to deactivate the tower. Once the tower is deactivated, you'll get the option of calling in a hell bomb to finish off the job. This is one of those uh, optional objectives where you can use other stratagems at this point, but you've pushed this far. Just use the hell bomb, run away, watch the fireworks. Destroy mortar emplacement. Running around a Tom Tom missions, you'll hear this. That means death is coming for you. Push towards the direction of the fire and you'll come across these mortar emplacements. You can take them out with air strikes, grenades to the heat vents at the back or with explosive weapons, or you can push into the middle, call down a hell bomb and destroy the whole thing. Make sure with the hell bomb that you get it placed roughly in the middle of all the mortar emplacements. They'll always be within a close enough range so one hell bomb well placed can do the job. Activate the SEAF SAM site. This is an optional objective that will get you some help in these missions. Activating a surface to air missile site. Simply go up to the terminal, activate it, and then the platform will raise up. Defend the immediate area while this is taking place, and by the end of it, you will have an emplacement that will destroy drop bot airships as they come in. It does have a limited range, so it'll only take out bot drops within a certain area around it, but it is still a very useful addition. Destroy anti-air encampments. You'll see these as you're going around firing off into the night sky or into the day sky. And it will make all your eagle stratagems unavailable in that immediate vicinity. As it's anti-air, it'll take it out. You can go in, call in a hell bomb and destroy the lot of them. But like most automaton stuff, there's heat vents on the back and you can also just shoot into them with something explosive, recoilless rifle, auto cannon, even grenades will do the job. Reloading. Destroy the gunship facility. During automaton missions, you'll see these gunships flying around, and it means you've got a gunship facility nearby. It can be identified by these tower-like structures that you can see in the distance, but they are quite tough. As you can see here, taking, a, taking multiple shots from a walking barrage and still standing. So your main option then is to get in close, and when you are close, you'll be given a stratagem to call in a hell bomb call that thing down and once activated you just need to run away and get some distance there can be a couple of towers to these gunship facilities and if the placement of the hell bomb isn't right you may need to call in multiple hell bombs to finish the job but once it's done you'll get a nice explosion to look at and that is the end of my tutorial for the optional objectives so if you got this far, I just want to say dioch and thank you for watching.